In the previous video, we learned about volume of solid shapes. In this video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. Tall buildings there. Why don't I build such a tall building in Champapur? Gulu thought about it and started designing the building. To make each house unique, I will make it cube shaped. The sides of each house will be 3 meters long. He thought. So kids, can you guess what will be the volume of the house? If you wish, you can stop the video and think of the answer. The cube shaped house has a length of 3 meters. This means that the first layer of the house will have 3 times 3 9 meter cubes. And because the house is cube shaped, its height will also be 3 meters. In other words, a cube shaped house will have 3 layers made up of cubic meters. The volume of each layer is equal to 9 meters cubed. This means the total volume of a cubic shaped house will be 9 times 3 that is equal to 27 cubic meters. Well, the volume of each house is equal to 27 cubic meters. If I build 6 houses on each floor of the building, how many cubic meters will be the total volume of the lowest floor? The volume of each house is equal to 27 cubic meters and there are 6 such houses on each floor. This will mean the total volume of the lowest floor will be 6 times 27, that is 162 cubic meters. And if I make 12 floors in my building, the total volume of my building will be equal to how many cubic meters? Kids, can you help Golu find the answer to this question? Find the answer quickly by stopping the video. The volume of each floor of the building is equal to 162 cubic meters and there are 12 such floors in the building. This would mean the volume of the entire building will be 162 multiplied by 12 that is 1944 meters cube. Gulu built his building and the people of Champapur started living happily in that building. Children, in this video we learned about the volume of solid shapes by some interesting examples. In the next video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this.